Hello guys, I got this question regarding plasticity. Yeah, but what happens when you have to convert all that to a mesh? Well, I have the solution for you. I've got a new video for my course. To access this, I'm going to go to the second section. Section 2, more projects, and it's the fourth video. Plasticity to Blender, Retopology, and Modeling. Here I go over how you can export from plasticity. So I go over some settings you can use right here. So essentially, we're just taking a piece from this uh, mech head right here. And we're just going to go ahead and export that using these settings. As you can see, it looks a little bit rough here. But once you get into Blender, go ahead and use the Quadrimesher add-on to take this mesh right here and easily topologize it. And you can now begin to add a much more detail here. So for all you Blender users who enjoy the modeling in Blender, but also want to get some powerful CAD stuff going, uh, this is a very good video. It's not fast forward. It just shows you how it can work with a Blender after plasticity and very easily retopologize things and add further freeform details. Uh, some, some pitfalls to not run into some issues. Uh, for example, just kind of fix them to polish basic ways to make things more even, you know, removing edges, things like this. So if you just remove the edges here and do some cuts, you get a very good result. You can continue working with this. And of course, this can apply to other programs. For example, if you get this bad result after using Circle, the solution here is just to, just to keep using Circle over and over again. And eventually, you will get a perfect result right here. As you can see, now I get this perfect circular result. So just a nice little video showing you how you can take meshes from plasticity and further work with it in Blender. So, the link to the course is the first in the description. Thank you for watching and take care.